Hi friends, welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge. My name is Jake and today we're taking a look at this knife. Actually, it's a razor is what this would be called. This is the Tucson TS-185 razor. We've got Sandvik 14C28N stainless steel blade and a TC4 titanium handle. It's got a backspacer in there. Doesn't make any difference <laughs> that it's there. And they call this a comb, but for guys like me, it really doesn't make much of a difference. I'm sure there's certain hair types that could benefit from a comb like this, but for most parts, I think that's more of a gimmick end, and this is the working end. If you're interested at looking at a razor by Tucson Knives, then stick around. The review's coming to you right now, but it's not a full review because I've never shaved with it. I'm too scared. <laughs> Keep watching, and I'll tell you everything about this knife that I found out. This is indeed a full-size razor, and um, I'm not sure a size comparison with the Ontario Rat will help at all, but, you know, there it is. <laughs> it's, you know, a big full-size razor for shaving with. Like I said in the intro, I have not shaved with this. I don't know how to shave with one of these kind of razors. I was interested in it, and, you know, I bought the knife, and now I've chickened out. <laughs> Um, I haven't practiced on a balloon. I don't have any balloons. Uh, that's what some people say. You practice on balloons and stuff. I can't even get the hold right, like how to hold the thing. And, you know, I've looked at instructions. I've, I can sort of get it right, but then, yeah. But it is a curious uh, thing for me. And maybe you'll be interested in, in it as well. Uh, for the handle, yeah, that's TC4 titanium. You see the lines milled across it like that. And uh, there's the backspacer. Of course, there's nothing like a typical pocket knife. There's no lanyard hole. There's no uh, pocket clip or anything like that. That would just be super silly. But we've got two spots here for your fingers to grab. And then on the blade, you've got that part sticking out there. It's well-rounded. There's no hot spots touching it. You're not going to hurt yourself on the edges. Uh, so that's nice, full thickness of the blade here. And that's where it says Tucson. And on this side, there's the Night Morning Design logo and the 14C28N branding for the steel type. This is a hollow grind and uh, a full hollow grind all the way to the spine of the blade. So it stays quite thin. So this knife can be sharpened many, many times before it starts getting thick behind the grind. Uh, if you look at it this way, you can see how it stays thin for quite a while here. And a very nice thin edge. And then we've got that uh, sort of sheep's foot front here, because that's all you need on a blade like this. You can see that the spine of the blade is stonewashed. It was stonewashed on the edges, and then it's got a satin finish on the sides, on the main bevel and on the sides. You've got one screw here and then two more screws there. Those are all T8 screws. And it has a very good tightness to start with from the factory, so that's good. There's a stop pin right there. And on this side, there's the stop pin for when you close it. The tang of the blade hits that pin to stop. And then over here, there's another one. So when you've opened it all the way, it stops right there. Got a satin finish on the blade there. And it's got my fingerprints on it already. <laughs> and, you know, a nice gentle belly on the for the cutting edge. Let's go over all the dimensions and everything on this knife. Uh, like I said, it's uh, 14C28N Sandvik steel. That's usually around a Rockwell hardness of 5960, something like that. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less, depending on how much they temper it. Uh, the weight of this thing, 87 grams, 3.05 ounces. So three ounces, so that's not bad weight to hold when you're if you're shaving. The sharpness from the factory was 150. That's 150 best, so that's 
good and sharp from the factory, no problems there. The length of the cutting edge right here, 11.7 centimeters, 2.8 inches. Uh, the blade length, well, what's the blade length? Is it to the plunge right here or is it to the handle? I measured it from the tip of the blade to the handle, 10.81 centimeters, 4.26 inches. And the blade thickness, and I measured up here on the tangs, 3.5 millimeters, which is 0.138, so over an eighth of an inch thick. The blade depth, this dimension here, 2.25 centimeters, 0.885 of an inch. The thickness of the edge behind the grind, 0.51 millimeters, which is 20 thousandths of an inch exactly. So that's good. The grind angle, 17.5, 17.7. That's very good. Good consistency all the way across. This is one of the best sharpened knives that I've had, and uh, I, I like that a lot. Uh, let's talk about the rest of the details. The handle length, 12.32 centimeters, 4.85 inches. The grip area, I don't know. Depends on how you grip it. <laughs> the handle thickness is 1.27 centimeters. 0.499 of an inch, so half an inch thick. The handle depth, this dimension, two centimeters, 0.79 of an inch. The uh, knife depth, when it's closed, this dimension here, 2.95 centimeters, 1.16 inches. If you open it all the way, how long is this knife? 22.96 centimeters, so basically 23 centimeters, 9.04 inches. How much does a knife like this cost? I don't know how much uh, you know a dedicated uh, razor blade from a company that makes just razor blades or primarily this old school razor blade. I didn't look up what they are, but this guy at White Mountain Knives is $69.99. And uh, you can get 10% off at White Mountain Knives when you use coupon code CCE. Uh, White Mountain Knives does not sponsor my videos. Uh, they do give me a, a discount when I buy knives from them, and that's the that's the end of the relationship. They give me complete freedom to say anything I want on videos. I just thought I'd explain that on this video. Uh, $69.99 US uh, as of June 22nd equals about 40, about 94.75 Canadian, about 62.18 euros, about 56.18 uh, British pounds. So. What do I think of this knife? What are the pros and the cons and everything? I like um, this pivot. It's just the perfect tightness, so it's not difficult to open and close, but it doesn't want to swing freely. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, the stop pins are in the perfect spots. They work very well. The blade edge never hits anything. So that's a really good thing. And uh, the blade clearance, or blade centering, if you will, it's not bad. It's a slight bit off center, but there's a load of clearance on both sides. So that's not a problem at all. It's not too heavy to use. It's got the nice texture on the handle here. You know, you could use it as a comb for some people's hair. I don't know enough about razors to give too deep of a review or too in-depth of a review. I just think this is done really well. All the edges are chamfered, so there's no hard edges. Uh, that are going to bother you when you're using it. Even the tips of the uh, comb teeth, they're, they're rounded over so it won't get hot in the hand. It's well designed as far as I can tell. I don't know, I like this. Have any of you bought one of these? Do any of you actually shave with these old school razors? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, who knows, maybe I could sell this to you. I'd give you a discount price. Uh, actually, I have to wait until after the end of the month in case the Patreon winner chooses this. My Patreon supporters, uh, all of them get entered into a monthly draw, and the winner gets to choose one of the knives that I reviewed the previous month. I do keep the odd knife in reserve, but generally they get their choice of almost everything that I review. And so that's 12 winners every year, and that's pretty good odds. Because um, I'm not looking for Patreon supporters who support me for the purpose of a chance to win. Uh, that's just a fringe benefit on the side. If you want to support my channel, that's one of the ways you can do it is through Patreon. Other ways you can support the channel, simply just let the advertisements play. That helps me. Comment down below. 
hit the like button and share videos with your friends. That all works to help me out. I know this wasn't as in-depth as usual, but thank you anyways for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, friends, always cut towards your chum, not your neck or your thumb. <laughs> Bye for now.